Today we're going to be checking out the amazing San Diego Comic Con 2020 exclusive Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem Band box set from The Muppet Show from Diamond Select Toys. And this, by God, is an amazing box set. It's ginormous, first of all. The box is like, oh, let's get to tape my shirt to work. Yeah, it's, it's over 15 inches tall. I mean, it's a huge set. On the side here, we got the Muppet Show logo and of course, Dr. Teeth and Electric Mayhem Band. On the front here, you can see the entire band encased in plastic. We got Animal with his drums, Dr. Teeth with the keyboard, Zoot on the saxophone, Janice on her guitar, and of course, Floyd Pepper. You know, we got everything accessories wise. We got amps, we got tambourines, we got harmonica. I mean, the packaging on this is great because it really looks like the classic Muppet Show stage presence. Same side around the back. We got a nice Muppet Show logo as well as a nice little cutout here. It's almost kind of like a stained glass type of design for Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, their logo. Also has the Electric Mayhem figure set, one of 3,000 made. So they only made 3,000 of this box set. And up top, we got a really cool classic the muppet show logo shining through the top of the stage there so let's go ahead and unbox these guys and check out the band shall we all right we got the band set up a little bit backwards but it's going to make it a little easier for me to show you all their accessories and in detail because in true form to fashion diamond select toys absolutely killed it with including all the necessary accessories for this amazing dr teeth and the electric mayhem band we got animal animal has been previously released from diamond select toys but he now has an upgraded eight piece drum set so we've got two cymbals like our crash and our ride Downside about these is they do have a, a rather small base. The base is actually smaller than the cymbals, so you may have some issues getting them to stand, you know, and hold up correctly. As you can see, they want to fall over. But something you could easily do is put some, you know, double-sided tape on the bottom of this and then stick it to wherever you're placing these to, you know, your display. So we'll get those out of the way. We also have our hi-hat. This one is actually different because you'll see it's got two cymbals as opposed to one. So we got our hi-hat there. And then we have our toms. We got this one sitting here. It's got the legs. These are not adjustable. They're molded on there, so it's always gonna it's always gonna sit in that kind of leaned forward position. And this one's just straight up and down. The base of these are very pliable, so if you do want to have it kind of tilted, you can, but again be cautious because these do have that small base so it's very easy for them to tip over prime example of that then we have our snare looks great nice paint job where it fades from the red to the yellow excellent detail on that nice silver very very cool and then we have two bass drums these are a little different than again the previous release because it doesn't have the Teeth logo on the front here. We just have the sound white on the back. Again, these legs are not adjustable, but we have two amazing bass kick drums. And speaking of kick drums, we also come with two kickers. Now, these don't actually technically function as kickers because when you step on them, instead of the hammer hitting forward that would hit the bass drum, it just pulls back. But either way, I thought it was a nice little detail that they actually included these because that's something they could have easily skimped out on and not included, but nope, he has a legit eight piece drum set. And of course we've got Animal himself with the drumsticks, actual metal chain on him. He's got that awesome expression that we all know and love for him. As far as articulation, shoulders bent outwards, rotate him all the way around, bend at the elbow both ways, we got the wrist, it's on a swivel as well as a hinge so you can spin it all the way 360 as well as bend it forward and backwards. His waist, spin him all the way around at the torso, make sure he didn't get wrapped up there with his chain. His head, that's as far down as it looks and that's as far up as it looks. Do get some nice look there at his collar, his mouth does close. So you can have open mouth, closed mouth, and the legs. The legs do bend outwards. 
quite a bit. Some forward kick and backwards kick. And technically, yeah, you can spin him. You can spin his legs all sorts of crazy positions. So lots of movement and articulation on the animal. Knee bend backwards, forwards. It's all a pivot here so we can spin it all the way around. Our ball joint. And then we have the ankle back and forth as well as a little side to side and spin move because of the ball joint. So great articulation on animal. And he is able to sit on his included drumming stool, which is very nice. You know, it'd be kind of silly if we had all that and he wasn't able to actually sit on the drum stool, but he sits rather well. Assuming I can get him balanced. There we go. And that is it for animal. Let's move on. Next up we have a microphone. Now all the band members, with the exception of Animal, because Animal's not known for singing, does include a microphone and microphone stand and it is easy to separate. Literally just clips in right there. The microphone itself, nothing crazy, just a silver microphone head as well as the black bass, no cord on it, which is good because that would just get in the way. <laughs> we got some wireless microphones, but these have a nice little mic stand. Easy to balance these. Very cool, set that aside. And let's take a close look at Zoot, the saxophone man. He's got his nice tunic. I think that's what we'll officially call it. Not exactly a shirt, not exactly a, a blouse. This is definitely a, a groovy looking tunic. Got his nice chilled out glasses, his little floppy hat, his blue hair, nice details with the dark blue and the light blue like the teal matching his skin, kind of painted in there with his hair color. Saxophone, nice golden saxophone. He's got some, you know, hippie sandals on. Articulation, he's gonna be the same as Animal. One thing to note is Animal and Zoot, neither one of them have any peg holes on the bottom of their feet. So when you are posing them and setting them up, make sure you do balance them correctly because they don't have that peg hole that you could put a display stand underneath them. Next up we'll take a look at the groovy flower child herself, Janice. Again, she comes with her own microphone. It's identical to the rest of the band members as well as her own little amp. These amps are all identical as well. Great little details here on the corners with the silver paint. You even have the red dot up there in the left hand corner. I think that's, uh, you know, your power indicator. Nice details on the back of the amp as well, but really good deco with uh, the paint flourishes on the corner for the you know the braces set that aside but looking closer at Janice the flower child herself again she's got this nice little feather at the top of her, her beret it's got her six string guitar got a nice sunburst paint job on it she's got a nice little you know wrist jewelry here that actually moves around hard to tell but it's not molded onto her, it's actually separate. Uh, one little thing here I noticed, we definitely got some paint scuffs or some rub there where she's got some bluish looking fingertips, but she plays guitar, it'll be fine. Got a nice little hippie turquoise necklace and her guitar strap is actually able to move and you can take the guitar off. It's not molded on there, it's just actually held in there by her hair, so you're simply just gonna if you want to take that guitar off, lift her hair a little bit and separate it and then you'll be able to pull the guitar off. She's a very thin, frail figure. She's got all sorts of great posability and mobility and one special feature she has is she actually has peg holes. So that is great because since she's so lightweight and small, it's very difficult to get her balanced and posed. So I'm glad to see that they included some peg holes in her feet because it's going to make her much easier to stand up and display. Whereas the other figures have a little more weight and heft to them. So they're easier to balance without that peg stand and that peg hole. So I think they did an excellent job with Janice. Next, we will go to Mr. Floyd Pepper. Floyd Pepper, the bassist. Again, he has a microphone as well. 
separates from the mic stand just like the rest of them and he also has a couple extra accessories besides his own independent amp he also comes with a harmonica nice little harmonica there silver details dark brown casing as well as a tambourine because who doesn't want to see a tambourine solo at a rock show <laughs> but Mr. Floyd Pepper, aptly named a uh, combination of Pink Floyd and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. As you can kind of tell from his outfit, he's got that Sgt. Pepper-esque jacket. Nice bass guitar as well. Um, it's a little thin at the neck, so you can bend it just to straighten it out if yours isn't. And again, his, uh, his is not stuck to him. You can actually take it off. It's just kind of pinned in together, holding in there with his ponytail on his flowing red locks that he's got and his massive David Crosby mustache that he's got going on those big bushy eyebrows nice floppy army green hat he's got these big shin high boots on articulation just like everybody else he's got the same points of articulation so it's great he said easy to pose him move him spin him around that's that's the downside it goes eh eh I mean it's millimeters as far as his head movement up and down but you don't really need him to really look up and down you're just looking looking straight forward while you're playing the show you don't need to be looking all over the place but bass guitar nice details on it good paint job the knobs again with the, the gradient sunburst the strings the neck the strap very cool very cool and lastly we have the man himself dr teeth first of all we'll take a look at his set up his amp so he stands up looking at his keyboard multi-deck keyboard nothing too crazy with it self-balancing can't adjust it any it's just stuck in that one position but overall great looking accessory for dr teeth and the man himself now he has some amazing paint flourishes and deco on him. I mean, first of all, he got this great looking blue feather in his cap, nice pink cap, head moves around all the way around if you want. Again, he can look up and down, but it's very minimal changes just because he's got this huge collar on his costume and his vest. Speaking of his psychedelic clothing, look at that hippie paint detail there. He's got his nice rings on the fingers. Got these huge cuffs. Nice little feather boa looking flourishes to him. He's got his striped shirt. He's got his little necklace. Excellent range of motion for him just because he's got those wiry arms, super thin. You can spin the elbows all the way around, bend them have his arms crazy crazy conditions he's got his nice little moccasin boots on his weathered denim so they did a nice job painting this to make it look like these are definitely some worn in jeans it does have a little bit of a hip rotation legs kick forward legs kick back ankle pivots and rotates on a ball joint so you go side to side as well as back and forth on the hinge Overall, it's a fantastic set. I uh, absolutely, absolutely had to have this in my collection. Always been a fan of the Muppets and definitely always been a fan of the Electric Mayhem. I mean, what's not to love about these guys? They are so iconic. They got lots of catchy tunes that they've been playing for years on the Muppet Show. And I definitely think this was worth the price of admission. The packaging alone, because, you know, as always, San Diego Comic-Con is always known for having crazy over-the-top packaging and they are no exception to the rule with this Dr. Teeth box set because the packaging with that full-on band and the lights and everything with the Muppet show stage I mean it's fantastic anyways that does it for this video hope you enjoyed the content if you did make sure you hit that like button share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful and as always thanks for watching guys it really means a lot